Welcome to the shortwave radio channel and this is um, just an example. I wanted to show you the cable I use for the audio um, from my radio to my computer. So last night I posted a video, not a video, but a couple of pictures on the shortwave blog. And uh, basically a lot of people came back and said, oh, you, how did you connect your Texan PL990X to your PC for decoding the W1AW Morse code. How does that work? So I'm going to have, I, I think it's time for that because a lot of questions arise from people that just don't know exactly how to connect and use the digital decoding software for some of the digital modes on HF. And so hopefully, um, it's, you know, it's, I'm realizing how it's a, a, a complex thing to explain, especially to people that are not very computer savvy. So I'm going to try to do it the best way possible. So the first thing is for a external radio, a desktop radio or a portable radio, um, you can use the microphone of your PC if it's very quiet and usually it does work. But for better results, usually we use an audio cable. So this is what I have. These are standard stereo 3.5 millimeter audio cables. They're available everywhere. Um, quite easy to find. This is what I used last night on the line out of my Texan PL 990 that I plugged one end. And my PC has a microphone slash line in jack. That's where I plug the other end. So that there's a audio path between my radio and my computer so that the software can actually receive that audio to the code. One of the biggest problems, and I think this is a misconception, I've seen a few posts about that in the past couple of weeks. People have the impression because there's a waterfall that they, the decoding software actually decodes directly from shortwave. Uh, some even think that what they're connected online or no, they're not. The waterfall you see in the decoding software, and we'll talk more about that, is audio. It's the sounds that the software is getting from your computer. Sometimes people are um, wondering why there's sound or something in the waterfall when the radio's off. That's because it might be your internal microphone, and when you speak, when there's sound around you, it will show up, and we'll be checking at that uh, for FLDG, MultiPSK, and so on. And we'll try to help you out in maybe setting up your first decoding setup and success, maybe hopefully getting your first successful decode. We'll also look at what's the easiest thing to decode out there, and we'll go through that and also go through the different audio, um, you know, and different um, digital modes that are uh, more difficult to also, and some are rather difficult to decode correctly. So we'll be looking at that and explaining um, that. So there's a little series coming up, and um, I'll create a playlist starting with this video where we're going to put all of that in a playlist that will be called uh, Digital Mode Decoding. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.